Week three gets underway at Cheltenham then with a novice chase. This is a three mile novice chase. And a pretty small field for this one. Uh, not that many novices about it would seem this season. Top one is impressive spirit Jim Murray. Timian Block for Craig Allen. Wouldn't it be good Leon Van Rensburg, A. Caster Mulbis, Darren Thompson, Water Sunrise, Craig Beckwith, Dawn of Lust, Joshua Sutherland, Inuit Symbol, Ben Manici and Selections. Craig Allen just eight then. With two or three winners in the field from last week. Uh, called in and away they go. Making their way down towards the first of the obstacles. I think this is our possibly our first visit to Cheltenham this season. We've all been there the last two weeks. But it's been a bit of a bit of a whirlwind start of the season with races all over the place. They get to the first end and with the first one they all go with A Castor Malbis, the early leader, leading by three to Impressive Spirit in second and Dawn of Lust third, then Temu in Block. Temo in Block is in fourth. The blue jacketed Inuit symbol in mid division with on its outside. Wouldn't it be good as they get to the second, which they're all safely over on the second Craig Allen Horse selections is the back marker at this stage of the race, but there's a long way to go yet, and A Castor Mulbis is sitting at a pretty stiff pace and leads by a good five to six lengths as they get over the water with Dawn of Lost in the black and red in second. The black and red hoops, the black with the red sleeves in third. That's impressive spirit for Jim Murray. As they get to this big ditch, and over it they all go safely over that one. With Acaster Mole, we're still clear in the lead. Dawn of Lust, six tenths down in second. Impressive spirit on the inside, third. And wouldn't it be good as they get to the fifth? Oh, he's in four of there. Dawn of Lust has gone. So, Dawn of Lust crashes out of the race. I think Joshua Sutherland has that many fallers. A surprise there, and Acaster Malbis continues to lead. From Impressive Spirit is in second. As they get over number six. And Acaster Malbis bowling along nicely in the lead, racing downhill now. And Impressive Spirit chases in second, wouldn't it be good? Back in third. And Temo in block is fourth. Or Temo in block, I feel how we really want to say that one. Stable mate selection is moving closer onto its outside with wider still Inuit symbol and Water Sunrise is just at the back as they take number seven. Which they're all safely over. Oh, Water Sunrise is gone, so they were all safely over. And Water Sunrise crumpled on landing, looked like he'd got over it okay, but he's out of the race. So we've lost two of the eight then, which means only one of these is going to fail to pick up some prize money. So it's Acaster Malbis, that's assuming that they get around, of course. And we've still got slightly more than a circuit to go. You can see the stands in the foreground of the big screen. They're coming up the straight now, popping over fence number eight. And they, big old man, Redsburg horse. Wouldn't it be good? I had a bit of a blunder at that one. As they get over the next hand, this time it was the Craig Allen horse selections that made the mistake. So, quite novelty some of these. As they swing out left-handed then for one more circuit of Presbury Park and Acaster Malbis has been bowling along in the lead away from all the trouble, jumping well while the others have made mistakes and skipped over that one nicely. Impressive Spirit second, wouldn't it be good? Third, then Inuit Symbol fourth, and then the Craig Allen pair at the back selections and Temo in black as they make their way towards the next. The one before the water, and they all popped over that one nicely this time. And we're pretty sure they'll all get over the next in five years of commentating on the SO series. I've never seen a fall of the water, and over it they all go with Acaster Malbis six lengths clear of Impressive Spirit second. Wouldn't it be good? Third selections is fourth, and then Inuit symbol fifth, and Temo in black still the back marker as they get over that ditch, and they're all jumping okay now. Acaster Malbis has been given a pretty easy lead so far. I'm not sure. It's taken a great deal out of him being in front, and he seems to be going well in the lead. Wouldn't it be good? An impressive spirit. Oh, closing though now, as we say that, and they're making their way down towards the next with Acaster Malbis's lead now down to a little more than two and a half. Impressive spirit second, wouldn't it be good? Third. Selections has moved through to fourth and then Inuit Symbol and Temo in black together at the back. It's in downhill now. And the 
lead had just been given the hurry up to maintain his position in the lead. Still too clear in presses, but it looks to be going well. Selections is now running on really well. Tries to drag the stable mate Temo in black with him. And that selections is going far better. V2 Craig Allen horses again to the next one. A really good jump there by Selections. See it jump into the lead. So Selections has taken it up there. Now suddenly Acaster Malbis is starting to tread water going around the outside. Wouldn't it be good? Has now come through to challenge. Impressive spirit is still there. Temo in block and Inuit symbol. I've got a lot of work to do, but it's Selections in the lead from Wouldn't It Be Good. And these two are beginning to pull away from Impressive Spirit. Acaster Malbis. Temo in black is sticking on, but a little bit one pace. Selections is in the lead by half. I don't think Swing towards home, they've got two to jump, and it's selections in the lead. Wouldn't it be good in second over it? They go better jump by, wouldn't it be good? Now, wouldn't it be good? Goes on. Here comes Impressive Spirit on the outside in second. Over the final fence, got Impressive Spirit went right through it. Wouldn't it be good? Got away from it well. Selections is trying to chase him up the hill, but it's going to be wouldn't it be good? And Leon Van Rensburg's going to start week three with a winner as they race up towards the line. Then, wouldn't it be good? A couple of mistakes, but still a pretty good victory up towards the line. Wouldn't it be good? Takes his selection to second. They cast a Malvis Rowling in the third, then Impressive. Is written Temo in block, and finally, he knew it simple some way behind the rest, but got round okay. And it's a win in the first race of the week for Leon van Rensburg. And wouldn't it be good? Second was selections for Craig Allen, Acaster Malvis, Darren Thompson, third, impressive spirit, Jim Murray, fourth, and Temo in block for Craig Allen was fifth.